This week on Life on Jupiter, we are trying to check in to the beautiful island of Jamaica, but are suffering at the hands of bureaucrats. Considering just leaving the country, check out today and just go to Panama. How's my hair? It's, it's sort of a mess. Mm. I need a haircut. Yeah. Give me a haircut. Mm -hmm. Well, yesterday was our attempt to check in. All seemed to be going well here. The Montego Bay Yacht Club. We had to arrange a doctor to do the PCR. Doctor came, $80 each. Both negative. Immigration was next. Mm -hmm. No, health. Health was next. Yeah. And then immigration. And they all seem very friendly people. Um, but once again, they won't let Princess in uh, without a visa. Uh, even though their website says no visa is required if you arrive by sea and hold a seafarer's logbook. The officer also tried to, you know, argue with the, with yeah, the boss. Yeah, he rang his superior and said, but what about the tanker crews that come in? They're allowed to stay for weeks. Uh, so in the end, they just said, uh, no, uh, three-day transit, including today. So that means officially we've got to leave tomorrow. We have one full day in Jamaica. The alternative is we go buy a visa on arrival and uh, yeah, that's great. Oh, just go buy a visa. $350. But, and we'd already paid 160 for the PCR yesterday and um, the dinghy fees. it's $20 a day to land the dinghy here. Then you're going to do it today again. And then, so if we check out tomorrow, tomorrow's Saturday, oh, there's fees for overtime fees to check out on the weekend. So we could check out today for free, but then we've had zero days actually free on Jamaica, as in, like, to do something. So I think we've decided we've just got to cough up the money. We're just got to, we're going to go to the airport today and buy a visa on arrival. But you can actually get a visa... Eight days before you come here. But well, yeah, if you get a cheaper. visa before you arrive, it's a it's a hundred bucks plus agents fees. But yeah, we had like that. We made some friends over there. Yeah. They were trying to pull strings, trying to ring up. Oh, I know someone in the government, and just no. don't think anything's happened. So uh, yeah, we just got to pay the money. So that's our mission today: is to get to the airport, explain the situation to them. And uh, hopefully they understand it and they give us a visa. Mm -hmm. And they only gave me a three-day entry as well. And I'm entitled to, I can't remember, 90 days, I guess, as an Australian. But I think just for consistency, they just gave us both three days, transit only. These are the problems of the world traveller. Mm. No big deal. Just pay the money. Money apparently fixes most things. Maybe you should go, go back to making money instead, traveling the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh.
So there's still problems. At the airport now, dealing with immigration. They tell us we're in the wrong place now. Just spent 25 bucks to get here. And now they can do Princess's passport. But now there's a problem with my passport because immigration yesterday didn't land me correctly. <laughs> <laughs> so now, yeah, now there's a problem with my passport. So, let's see. Now we have to get a taxi somewhere else. Which actually happens to be right near the yacht club. <laughs> Very expensive <sighs> place here. It's like we're trapped. <sighs> I really, I thought Jamaica would be more... Second world? But it's not, it's really first world and first world crisis. Well, things are not looking good. The immigration have said we're in the wrong place and uh, we've got to get taxi back. But all they can suggest is we get an extension on our three-day visa and we have to pay extension fees plus the new visa fees, including me, since they only cleared me in yesterday for three-day stay when I should have been landed for 90 days. And they're very sorry about that. So now I gotta pay, it's about $100 extension fees. So we are considering just leaving the country, check out today and just go to Panama. But they said, please wait a little longer. They're going to make more, further inquiries. So let's see what comes of that. Ah, wow. What a f nightmare. to even check out today now if we want to check out tomorrow I mean if we want for sake we don't want it's just our divine we have to check out tomorrow unless we get a visa today if they don't give us a visa today we must pay overtime fees to check out tomorrow
Good day. Jesus. Well, I mean, it, uh, I guess it ended up okay. We spent the whole day sitting at the airport. We got there at nine o'clock. Shut up! <laughs> we got there at nine in the morning. Immigration said, okay, you wait here. Come back a couple of hours later with some supervisor lady. And then she explained the situation. And then the other lady who was helping us first, she was arguing with the supervisor. And then they said, wait here. And then lunchtime came and the first lady come out and said, it's still gonna be a little while. We're waiting for a reply from an upper supervisor. So we said, okay, we're gonna go have some lunch, come back. Two o'clock, she comes out and she says, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. We tried everything. You're just gonna have to pay the money. So we said, okay, all right, pay the money. <laughs> That's what we come here today to do, is to yeah. pay the money. So she said, but you can't pay it here. You have to go to a different office. They're open until four and it's now two. And we said, okay, well, should be able to make it. We get to the office at three, because there's traffic. It closed at 2.30. So our princesses, both of our visas, they gave me a three day entry and I should be getting a 90 day entry, I think, or 60, anyway. Both of our visas expire tomorrow, Saturday. The office is not open tomorrow. So we come back to the Yacht Club here and just thought, it, I guess we check out and leave tomorrow. Uh, which is okay because like we were about to pay $500 to them so that we can stay. But, so it was sort of, you know, okay, fine. We've had enough signals that we should leave. We should leave. Anyway, we come back to the Yacht Club here. The helpful staff here at Montego Bay Yacht Club made some calls and now they've extended our visa until Monday on the phone, like no stamps or anything. So I'm sure Monday is going to be a plus of But yeah, we, Monday we're going to go in and try and pay our $500. We want to stay because we like the people. The people are cool, man. Yeah. I, I used to work with a, a, a few Jamaicans and um, I just love their, their vibe. Yeah, man, it's okay, man. <laughs> Everything will be okay, man. <laughs> it's and, a song. <laughs> <laughs> Everything will be all right. But anyway, yeah, it's close. Yeah. So we want to stay. Yeah. And we're willing to pay $500 to stay. But anyway, maybe it'll work on Monday. Yeah. We're going to have to use a different channel that allows swearing. <laughs> YouTube's up the ass, they don't allow it. <laughs> Sorry, I've had three beers. Good thing it's three dollars only. Yeah, at least the beers are only three dollars. <laughs> and we got some tuna. Free tuna. Ooh, that's a huge one. Well, on. yeah, that's a good meal. Yeah. Or even two meals. Yeah.
think it's a successful trip. I got SIM card. They tell me unlimited data, but that's what they all say. Uh, so we'll see what what we get. Pretty cheap, actually. They're saying one month unlimited, 30 US dollars or 36 US dollars. Did a little shopping as well. Now it's about a 25 minute walk back. I also went to the ATM, took out the maximum Jamaican dollars I could, which is only about $120 US. That was about the maximum the machine would allow. Uh, so I got my pockets full of uh, cash. It was uh, 20,000 Jamaican dollar. Hopefully I get back there and keep the money in my pocket. It's a bit of a dodgy area. So just got to be careful. Hey crew. Hi crew. We're coming to you from Jamaica man. <laughs> Although we're not legal. Yeah, not yet. The Yacht Club ladies here, they made a phone call uh, to some immigration contact they had and it turns out somebody says verbally on the phone, no record of this, that we can stay until Monday to apply for the visa. Can you imagine what's going to happen Monday when our visas are expired and we're trying to extend them? And they're going to argue again. Yeah, this is going <laughs> to be... It takes a day. This is going to be... We're going to end up in jail and all we're doing is trying to check in. <laughs> but a lot of people are trying to help. Yeah, but we don't have any record of that, you know I mean? I'm tired. We could just leave, you know, but we've got an open stamp in our passport and, you know, the next port is going to go, oh, you didn't leave Jamaica properly, you know, mm -hmm. so... We're Bad trying record. to do it the right way, but it's just costing hundreds of dollars. Yeah. Even to leave, it's going to cost hundreds of dollars. Anyway, uh, we want to stay here. It looks lovely, and the people are lovely. It's just their system, sorry. <laughs> um, Princess has made some friends, some Filipinas we just happened to see at the Yacht Club. <laughs> what are they going to do? Um... Well, they said they, because they're working on the hotels and they said they're going to give us a free day pass yeah. on his birthday. Yay! Yeah. All of it is free. Food, drink? Food, drinks, wow. and all the amenities we can do all day. Maybe we'll spring for a night. <laughs> yeah, well. so they said they're going to give us also a good price. Yeah, a good price or a, just a, a day bed. What do you call that? I don't know, I'm going to sleep in yeah. air conditioning for once. So sleeping on daytime <laughs> we want to stay yeah so we're going to be paying probably six hundred dollars on monday that's if it all goes smoothly <laughs> yeah um, but i guess that's not the only problem we just need to pay yeah. and then we we got to stay cash is king <laughs>
So we actually wanted to go that way, but as you can see, there's just no way we can get against this easterly. Uh, on the north coast here, Jamaica, it's like just the wind seems to funnel between Cuba and Haiti and just blows on this north coast. So we're, uh, you know, getting along 11, 12 knot surfs here with just the heads all alone. Because we're going to go this way now. <laughs> we give up going that way. The south coast is a little more protected, so uh, I think we will have to go around the south coast, which is not the prettiest coast. And we've already seen half of it. But that's how we're going to have to go east. Have you sailed before at all? It's just scary. I think it's a little too fast for our fish. They're not catching up with our lure at all.